Ava Chris Tyson from the Mr. Beast channel is currently facing one of the worst downfalls of all time, with several disturbing and credible allegations being made against her, resulting in Mr. Beast firing her from his team and publicly denouncing her disgusting and predatory behavior. We'll be diving into the disturbing downfall of Ava Chris Tyson. Ava Chris Tyson, formerly known as just Chris Tyson, was a longtime friend and collaborator of Jimmy Donaldson, better known as Mr. Beast. Their relationship extended back to childhood, with the two even sharing living quarters as roommates. Tyson would go on to become a key part of the Mr. Beast channel and even the co-host of Mr. Beast Reacts. Whilst Chris Tyson had a successful career being featured on YouTube's largest channel, the controversy surrounding them began in 2023, when YouTuber Sunny V2 would upload a controversial video titled, Why Chris Will Soon Be a Nightmare for Mr. Beast, where in the video he would criticize and speculate on Chris's transformation, with claims of Chris abandoning their wife and kid in the pursuit of being transgender, as well as the impact it could have had on the bro dynamic of Mr. Beast's content at the time. Maybe everybody was simply too busy opening packages, but Chris did make these bizarre jokes about Jimmy being female, making him incredibly uncomfortable. Oh my god, Jimmy, look, they drew you. Jimmy, they drew you so well. It looks just like you. Oh, yes. Oh my god, it's Whoa. Jimmy. How did fan art? This so is hard. what we were looking for. <laughs> be brave, be honest, be kind, Mr. Mr. Beast. Beast. That is my dad. The video would be widely criticized and even garner a response from Mr. Beast himself, reading, Yeah, this is getting absurd. Chris isn't my nightmare. He's my f friend and things are fine. All this transphobia is starting to piss me off. While Sunny V2 would receive backlash for this video and later change the title to How Will the Chris Tyson Situation Impact Mr. Beast, it wouldn't be long before Tyson was once again embroiled in controversy. The first major blow to Tyson's reputation came with the discovery of her old Reddit account username TysonBoy. 34 after a user called her a slur, with tweets reading, Old Chris would have called you a blank, with Chris responding saying, The old me was a blank too showing a screenshot which displayed the username TysonBoy34. This account, definitively being linked to Tyson through references of being Mr. Beast's roommate and other identifying details, revealed a disturbing pattern of behavior. In now-deleted comments, archives from this account show very strange interactions, such as, Why the fuck do you use your VR headset for anything other than 3D lolly gang and what's even more weird is that Chris would comment this under an image featuring teenagers. But you can still get teen love. 14 year olds always stay 14. Lenny face. For those unaware, Lolly is essentially drawn cheese pizza, not safe work artwork featuring characters that are clearly minors. And when the situation already seems bad, it gets so much worse. One of the most damning and disgusting elements of the Chris Tyson controversy was her association with and support for the notorious artist Chadman. To fully grasp the gravity of the situation, it's important to know who Shadman was and why his connection to Chris Tyson is so disturbing. Shadman, real name Shaddai Prajean, is a Swiss-born artist infamous for his highly controversial artwork. While attending art school in Switzerland, Shadman was expelled and reportedly deemed a quote, menace to society due to the nature of his artwork, which included depictions of underage individuals in NSFW situations. Throughout his career, Shadman consistently pushed boundaries, creating severe Really degenerate content that ranged from that safe work artist of his own mother to art of animator Ed Gold being by the Grim Reaper just the day after he passed away from cancer. But if you thought that was horrible, what Shadman was most notorious for was his disturbing artwork featuring real children. From Keemstar's daughter, who was seven years old at the time, to YouTuber Lieutenant Corbus, who was just 11 years old at the time, these deranged actions led to legal threats and his website being dropped by its host provider. With a tweet from Shadman stating, I'm in some legal issues until further notice. Won't be active online till this is solved. Shadbase is offline. I'll try my best to change that. Whilst Chris has gone on to try and cover up any and all evidence of her behavior, archives of their interactions exist and are still accessible today, such as Chris's comment on Pixar and Incredibles 2 film trailer, which featured a baby in the thumbnail reading, Shadman is going to love this, as well as a tweet stating that she had accidentally opened his site on stream, reading, shout out to Shadbase for having safe work drawings today, accidentally pulled up his website on stream, as well as another tweet asking Shad to draw an underage character from a TV show, reading, please Shad, please. On the 17th of July 2024, YouTuber Adros would publish a video connecting the dots. How are Ava and Shadman linked? Well, the answer to this is another drawing by Shadman. It depicts a young girl wearing a please be patient, I have autism cap, pointing a gun at her mouth. She has a fidget spinner as an earring and a spade tattoo on her thigh that says BBC, 
which we all know what it means. On November 18th, 2017, Avery responded to a tweet from Grande and Mr. B stating, this is coming from a guy who owns a shad based drawing and has it as a centerpiece in his living room. Just some time later, they also posted the exact same drawing laid on the floor with the caption, bonus fidget spinners to throw some extra autism. But this is where things get even more disgusting. This artwork was featured in an actual Mr. Beast video, where in a video titled, Tipping Pizza Delivery Guys $10,000, the degenerate artwork could be seen in the background. <laughs> Whilst the scene has now been cut from the video following the controversy, it's also worth noting that Mr. Beast had interacted with a Shadman tweet after being tagged by Chris in July of 2018. In tweets reading, lol, just a random at Mr. Beast YT meme on Shad, love it. With a reply from Mr. Beast stating, this is all we've ever wanted, we can quit now. It's safe to say that Chris's support of Shadman was consistent and enthusiastic, despite widespread knowledge of Shadman's controversial and often illegal content. With this information coming to light, there was a widespread concern for the potential danger she may pose to Mr. Beast's young viewer base, which caused internet users to dig even deeper, where they found even more strange and weird interactions Chris had involving minors or a to not safe for work materials, with messages stating, nothing gets my knob cranking like some lolly, it ain't p unless it's got a sheep in as well as, ah yes, this will make a fine addition to my collection. In light of Chris's dark side finally being exposed, several miners came forwards with their weird interactions with her, painting a picture that Chris frequently befriended miners and used strange language like dad or daddy with them. Keep in mind, Chris was a fully grown adult throughout all these interactions and the people he's talking to are all young miners. Text from 2018 between me and Chris. I was 14, he was roughly 22. Lol, did the school expel him? Kissing emoji. Of course, Dad. This is the best Snapchat I've ever seen. Haha, <laughs> when it's your wedding, you can do whatever you want. Lol. This screenshot would be backed up by video evidence of the user going through their chat log and proving it was indeed Chris's account. To make matters worse, Twitter account Gunt News would also share a recording of Chris discussing explicit topics, whilst in a call allegedly involving at least one minor. I know, dude, I would inside of that egg and then watch her eat it and then watch her have with another man while she comments about how my genitalia can never satisfy her. On the 14th of June 2024, user Prism42 would upload a video to YouTube titled, Chris Tyson talked inappropriately to a 13 year old. Throughout the video, Prism would go through old chat logs of Chris and a creator named Lava GS. For context, Lava was a hardcore 13 year old Mr. Beast fan who got in contact with the Mr. Beast team after winning a giveaway for a signed CSGO knife. Throughout these interactions, Chris would get in touch with Lava and begin their communication.